Hello class 12. This is the continuation class of ratio analysis. In my last class, I have explained to you uh, the uh, tabulation, the wide classification of uh, different uh, ratios, different types, different categories of ratios. Uh, there were four uh, categories, four major categories under which all the ratio comes. The four major categories were liquidity ratio, solvency ratio, activity ratio and profitability ratio. I have also told you that today's class will be based on the first kind of ratio that is liquidity ratio. Liquidity ratio which is very important, the most important, in fact the most important ratio is liquidity ratio. Now liquidity means what? Liquidity means the ability of a firm to meet its short term liabilities, to meet its short term obligations. Liquidity means the amount of cash in hand of an organization for a conventionally uh, for conventionally uh, one period say for one year to meet up its short term liability for that particular year uh, it indicates this uh, liquidity ratio indicates the flexibility of a firm how much the firm is able to pay off its uh, liability it is uh, essentially and um, uh, highly um, liquid investments uh, which are very much important to meet the short term obligations of a firm. So liquid assets, how much the firm has the liquid assets over the liquid liabilities, these are the few little things which can be understood through this liquid ratio. So the first kind of liquid ratio is current ratio. Current ratio is the first First you give a heading, liquidity ratios. Liquidity ratio. Under liquidity ratio, the first important ratio in your syllabus is current ratio. Maximum sums in your syllabus is concerning this ratio. Because maximum sums which comes in the exam also, in maximum of the year, you will see that uh, current ratio is very important because this comes maximum. Current ratio is very important. This is the first and foremost and first important ratio under which comes under liquidity ratio. Uh, why? Because current ratio indicates, current ratio indicates the ratio, the expression or the relationship of the current asset and the current liabilities of a firm. Current assets and current liabilities of a firm. Now, what are the current assets of a firm? Generally, the current assets are uh, those assets which can be converted into cash within one accounting period. That is the liquid assets, that is uh, debtors, stock, bills receivable. These are uh, the kind of uh, current assets that a firm normally has. And what are the current liabilities? The current liabilities are bills payable, creditors, bank overdraft, these are the current or any kind of outstanding uh, expenses. These are the current liabilities of the firm. So, normally the current in a normal organization where there is a normal profit earning is there in every year, their current assets are always more than the current liabilities so that current liabilities can easily be paid off with the help of these current assets. So, current asset should be double of current liabilities. This is expected. But normally it varies. So current assets should be more than current liabilities. This current ratio is the relationship of current assets and current liabilities. So current ratio, the formula is current assets, all the current assets of a firm. Divided by all the current liabilities of a firm. Divided by all the current liabilities of a firm. Simple. This is the formula of current ratio. The assets and liabilities of a firm will be given to you through a sum. From that you have to find out, you have to pick out the current assets, add those and put it in the numerator. Again you have to pick up the current liabilities, add those and put in the denominator and divide those and find a ratio. This is 
how we will solve the sums of current ratio. Let's do one sum so that it is helpful for you to understand how current ratio, how we will find out current ratio. Suppose it is given in the sum, the stock, suppose a balance sheet is given to you in a sum. Here it is given stock, debtors, debtors, bills receivable. These are given to you through a balance sheet in a sum. Whereas here creditors, bills payable and bank overdraft is given provided to you. And the amount of stock given is 20,000. Debtors 15,000 and bills receivable um, 10,000. This is given to you. And here, creditors given to you is suppose creditors given to you is 10,000 or Base payable is given to you 8,000 4,500 is bank overdraft. This balance sheet is given to you. This balance sheet is provided to you through a sum and you are asked to find out the current ratio of the organization. Now through this sum you will find out the current ratio. How you will find out? From this sum you will Pick out the current assets. Now current assets means stock. The formula is stock. Current asset. All the current assets you have to add up. That is stock plus debtors plus bills receivable. Bills receivable. This you have to add. Because these are the current assets given to you through this sum. Many more assets can be given to you in a sum. This is just a basic sum to uh, clear your concept. Many more uh, things will be uh, given to you. Many more things uh, in the balance sheet will be provided to you just as fixed asset. Just uh, to confuse you. All the fixed assets will also be provided through a sum. But you have to pick up the current assets from that sum only. You have to pick up the current assets from that sum only. Uh, the difficult sums in the exercises I will solve and provide you the PDF. Please download the PDF to uh, get a clear idea about how the sum works if more assets are given to you. You have to pick up the current assets only. That is the stock, debtors, bills receivable, this kind of uh, current assets which are convertible through cash in one year, in one accounting period. Divided by the current liabilities. The current liabilities provided in this sum is... Creditors, creditors, bills payable, I'm using the short form, and bank overdraft, bank overdraft. These three things will come as in the denominator. Now, you will add up the amounts. Now, what you will do, you will add up the amount. Stock was given, I think stock was given... 20,000 debtors were given 15,000 and bills receivable was given 10,000 and creditors was given bank overdraft uh, 4,500 this was 10,000 given. Uh, bills payable was 8,000 and bank overdraft 4,500. This was given. Creditors 10,000. Bills payable 8,000 and bank overdraft 4,500. This was given. Now you need to add up these. The numerator. 20 plus 35, 45,000. 45,000 in the numerator and in the denominator. 
22,500. 22,500. This will come as a denominator. 22,500. So you have to divide it, reduce it to lowest term or you may divide it and you will get 2 by 1 and you need to write 2 is to 1. This is the current ratio of the firm. The current ratio of the firm is 2 is to 1. Now you may, uh, a question may arise in your mind that do you have to write all these details? Or you will add up the amount only. No. You have to do the sum in this way. You have to add. You have to show the uh, items that you are taking. And show the details of the items. Uh, that you are considering as current asset. You will write those. And uh, current liability also same. You have to write. You have to uh, write the items separately. Then in the next step. You have to write. Show the amount of that those items. You have to show the amount of those items and then divide or reduce it to lowest term. Do the cancellation form through calculator also you can show. Uh, and you have to find out the uh, ratio finally and eventually. Now in this way you will find out the current ratio. Now the current ratio has come 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1 means the current asset indicates more than the current liabilities. This is through this ratio. The sum doesn't end over here. Through this ratio, you have to write a statement. You have to analyze the result that you have found out through this sum. And the result indicates that the firm is in a sound position because the firm has more current asset. The firm has double current assets than the current liabilities. So the firm is in a good position to pay off all the liabilities. So uh, we will write the statement. After completion of the sum, we will write uh, the statement that two is to one ratio indicates that the firm is in a sound position to pay off its short term to pay off it's to pay off its short term liabilities. Short term the uh, liabilities because the current assets are more than the current liabilities. So this is about current ratio. This is all about current ratio. The sums will be given to you. You have to pick up the current asset and current liabilities and divide those. Show it in a proper way. Take out the answer and write a statement. That what indicates what is the position, current position of the firm. This is what current ratio is. I hope you have understand this. I will provide all the sums of current ratio. Download the PDF provided with this video. So that it is helpful for you to understand how uh, the sums are working. In my next class, I will come up with liquid ratio or quick ratio. So follow the class. Thank you.